again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial for you. And today I have got a lovely hat that I would love to show you. This is the Alpine Stitch Hat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely love, love, love the texture on this. It's sort of an offset rib, if you will. Kind of like if you were to do the, the seed stitch, but using front post double crochets. It's actually quite easy. And once you get past the increase, which also the, the textured pattern goes all the way up to the crown. And once you get past the increase rounds, really, it is ultimately just a four round repeat. Two of the rounds are just single crochets and the rest is an offset of itself. So it's really not that difficult once you get started. It's absolutely delightful. Mm -hmm. Now, for this particular piece, I used Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. Now, I believe that this was the colorway of the, the teal. And then I decided to do another one in the anthracite. Ah, I love it. It's so gorgeous. And today we are going to be using the colorway of Scuba. Now, for those of you that are not aware, it is approximately... 482 yards. It's a weight of four and it is 100% acrylic. Really like this yarn and I think it lends itself very nicely to this stitch. And uh, so we're going to be using this. This is not the entire skein. I had to cut it midway. There was a knot in it. But I really do like this yarn because it's affordable and it's easy to access. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but I do like to let you know what it is that I, I want to let you know what it is that I use so that if you want to duplicate the results, you can. Um, also, for today's piece, I used two different sized hooks. For the main body of the hat, I used a six millimeter hook. This is a size J crochet hook. And for the brim, to make it a little bit tighter, I used a size H, a five millimeter hook. Now, of course, you can ultimately use whatever works best for you, but I'm just letting you know what it is that I used if you want to follow along how I did it. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, round one. And as I said before, I'm gonna be starting with the larger size hook, the size six millimeter, the, the J. And starting out, you can use a lot of different methods. You can use the magic ring. You can chain four slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring as well. I'm going to try to simplify it a little bit more. So going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And this is going to give us the height as well as our ring to work within. So into that first chain, 12 double crochets. Now this chaining up of two is not going to count as a double crochet. It's just to give us the height. Okay. I do this quite often actually. Um, so 12 double crochets into that first chain. And then we're going to slip stitch at the end to finish. So I've already got two. Three. There we go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, if I counted correctly. So again, this chaining up of two at the very beginning does not count. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. Okay. So then slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet right in here. So this chain two, ignore that. And then slip stitch into the first double. And then, of course, you can cinch your tail. And there you go. That is round one. Okay, round two. And we're, we're going to start right in by doubling our stitches from 12 to 24. Now, the way that I did this, it's a little bit different than how I usually do it. So I'm going to start off by chaining up two to give us the height. The chaining up of two will never count as an actual double crochet stitch for this piece. Just, you know, putting it out there. All right, so after chaining up two, and again, this is the chaining up of two from the round before. So around this first double crochet, going to do a front post double crochet. So yarning over, going around the post, and do a front post. Now you want to pull up your loop a little bit when you're doing your front post double crochets. Otherwise, your piece is going to pucker and it's going to cup inwards a lot more than you want it to. So give it some slack. So from here, to do the increase, this is where it's a little bit different. So to do the increase, the stitch that we, the the post that we wearing around that stitch, we're going to do a double crochet into the top of that stitch that we just went around the post, and that's going to be the increase. So around this post, the top of that stitch, go into that stitch for a double crochet. So now we have a front post and a double crochet right next to each other. And we have two stitches where we had one. So going to do the same thing for the remainder of the 12 double crochets. So around the post with a front post double crochet. And then into the top of that same stitch with a double crochet. So now we've got four stitches. Front post, regular, front post, regular. And just keep doing this all the way around. So a front post into the next stitch, front post. And then double into the top of that stitch. front post around the next, and then double into the top of that stitch, front post around the next, and then double into the top of that post. Front post around the next. Double into the top of that stitch. So you're sort of going behind Front post around the next. Double into the top. Front post around the next. Double into the top.
front post around the next once I get rid of this tangle. There we go. Okay, front post around the next. Double into the top. Whoa, close. There we go. Front post around the next. Double into the top. And so on and so forth for the rest of the round. There we go. And then I believe one more one more pairing that is and especially for this particular piece I do like to count often because the count is very very important so skipping this first chaining up of two we've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen 20, 22, 24. Perfect. Okay. Absolutely love it. And then into the top of this first front post double crochet slip stitch. There we go. And that is the end of round two. So like I was saying before, the the texture, it goes all the way up to the top as opposed to just doing double crochets and then the pattern starts. That drives me crazy if I can avoid it. So with fiddling and finagling, I managed to figure this out. So we're going to keep doing the increasing, but at this point we are going to be alternating back and forth between rounds of single crochet and more increasing. It'll make more sense as we keep going. So let's move on to round three. Okay, round three, like I was saying, it is going to be a round where we're just gonna be doing single crochets all the way around. It sort of stabilizes things a little bit. So chain up one, and then into the top of this first stitch, not where we just were in there, but right into here, this next stitch where we went into the uh, front post double crochet. So single crochet into that stitch. So we've got one and then we need 23 more single crochets for a total of 24. Now again, this is very important that you get your count right. Otherwise you're going to end up adding or subtracting stitches. So we have two and you know what, I'm just going to, I'm not going to count aloud. I'm just going to go for it and then I will count at the end. But I have made this mistake many, many, many times myself where I accidentally add or subtract a stitch, especially when doing the single crochet rounds. So... I speak from experience and I don't want you to have the same headaches that I've had, but as long as you learn from the experience, it's not a mistake. It's a learning, it's a learning experience. You know, as Bob Ross would say, you know, it's a happy accident, <laughs> that kind of thing. And what's the worst that happens? You know, you, you tear out some stitches, you start over again. It's not permanent. Okay, so we are almost there. I believe it's just two more. And then we should be good to go. See, it looks, see like right there, it looks like you might need another one. And that's why I said it, it can be deceptive. You know, you may think, oh, I need to do another one. Well, if I did this correctly, I, I did the correct number of stitches. So let's see, 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Perfect. So at the end of round three, you should have 24 single crochet stitches. And now we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch. And there you go. So this is essentially how you're going to be doing every other round where it's just a single crochet stitch in each stitch. Of course, we are going to be increasing for the next bunch of rounds, but it's that simple. Just make It's a matter of just making sure that the number of double crochets and front post double crochets, that total number is the same as the number of single crochets that you do. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So let's move on to round four. Okie dokie, so round four, we're gonna continue our increasing. And when I said before about how it's offset, like I said, it's one of those things where it'll make more sense as we keep going. So to begin with, going to chain up two to give us the height and now, because we have a front post right off the bat, we're going to need to start off with the offset, okay? So that is going to be a double crochet into the first stitch. Okay. And then a double crochet into the next stitch. So we've got two and then going, see, we have our front post here and then we have that double crochet sort of scooched in the back there. We're going to do a front post around that regular double crochet that we did. So going around the post. And don't forget to, you know, pull up your your loop there a little bit. Give it some slack. Okay. So we have a total of three stitches. Now, what you're going to need to do, okay, is then not into this stitch here because we already worked into that stitch, but into the next stitch up top do a double crochet and then another double crochet into the next stitch and then front post around that double not the front post but front post around the the double that's sort of again sort of scooched in the back there and pull up your loop and front post double crochet. So it's essentially one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're not skipping any of the single crochet stitches in the back. We're filling all of them with regular double crochets. Later, we will be skipping some to accommodate for the increase. But right now, this is part of the increase. So into that next single crochet, do a double and then a double and then a front post double around the scooted back one. And then double and double and front post around the scoot. There we go. Double and double 
front post around the back one. And then double. Double. Front post around that back one. So at the end of this round, we should have a total of 36 stitches between the double crochets and the front posts. So double. Double. And front post. Oh, got a little tangled up there. Um, one thing though that I help that I find helps is with this particular pattern. Um, see, when you're doing ribbing, you're always doing, okay, sorry, <laughs> got my two doubles and I need to do this front post. It's giving me a little bit of a problem here. Um, when you're doing ribbing, you front post around the front posts and you back post around the back posts. Well, with this one, there are uh, no back post double crochet stitches for the majority of the pattern. It's just doubles and front post doubles. And you are, like I said, you are um, going back and forth. You're alternating what you're uh, doing so to create the the offset. That's the word I'm looking for. It's an offset of the pattern um, so We have a double and a Double and then a front post Double Double and front post around the back one. Double. Double and Front post. Okay. Double. Double. And front post. Double, double, and we should do a front post around this last scooted one back there. And we should be at 36 stitches. So let's take a look, see. So again, skip that chain two. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Awesome, we did it. Okay, so into the top of that first double crochet, slip stitch, and there you go. That is the end of round four. All right. Alrighty, so round five, just like we did for round three, chain up one, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around being sure that you have the same number of stitches 
as your last round. So in this case, it's going to be 36 single crochets. Okay, be sure to count. Okay, you, yes, you, be sure to count. So 36 cro uh, single crochet stitches all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet stitch. And then I will meet back up with you for round six. Alrighty, I'll see you there. All right, so round six, going to increase once again, and we're going to be going from 36 stitches to 48 stitches. So it's just adding 12 each time we do an increase. So start off by chaining up two. And okay, so this is our chaining up of two. So we have our two double crochets and our front post. Well, because we have a double crochet, we're going to start by doing a front post around that post of the double crochet. All right, and then the increase is going to be doing a double crochet into that next stitch, not the one that we just went in, but the next stitch, do a double crochet back into that single crochet stitch, okay? And then front post around that next double crochet. Okay, now this is where things are a little bit weird. Okay, so now instead of going into the next single crochet stitch that we did not work yet, so we worked this one here, that one we worked. Now skip this single crochet stitch and do a double crochet into that next one. So skipping this one, going into the next with a double crochet stitch. So we have a total of uh, four stitches here. This chain does not count. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to do the exact same thing again. Front post around the double, because we've got double, double front post. So front post around the double, Don't forget to pull up that loop. Double into that first single crochet stitch because that's part of the, the increase. Front post around the next double. skip that unworked single and do a double into the single crochet right above that front post. Okay, front post around the double. Double into the single, front post around the double, skip a single, double into the next one. Front post around the double. double into that first single. Front post around the double. Skip a single, double into the next. Front post around the double.
double into the single. Front post around the next double. Skip a single, double into the next. Front post around the double. Double into the single. Front post around the double. Skip a single, double into the next. And pull out some more yarn as necessary. Okie doke. Front post around the double. Double into that first single. Front post around that double. Skip a single, double into the next. Front post around the double. Double into the single. Front post around the double. Skip a single, double into the next. Front post around the double. Double into the single. Front post around the double. Skip a single, double into the next. Front post around the double. Double into that first single. Front post around the double. Skip a single, double into the next, above that front post from below. And we're almost done with round six. So front post around the double. Double into that first single. Front post around the double. Skip one, double into the next. And a little more yarn to play with. There we go. Front post around the double. Double into that first single. Front post around the double. And going to double crochet into that last stitch there. And hopefully I did this correctly. We will soon find out. Okay, so we have, we should have 48 at this point. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Perfect. I love it when things work out. Don't you? All right, so then slip stitch into the top of that first front post double crochet stitch. Et voila. All right, so then we shall proceed onwards. Okay. OK, 
Okay, round seven. Round seven, it's going to be another single crochet round. So going to chain up one, single crochet into that first stitch, and to each stitch, a single crochet all the way around for a total of 48 single crochet stitches. And then after you have double counted, going to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch, and that will be the end of round seven. Okay, round eight. I'm gonna increase again, start by chaining up of two. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna be working in increments of five. Last round uh, of the increase, it was one, two, three, four. Now it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So we have here, right off the bat, a front post. So into that first stitch, double crochet, and then double crochet into the next stitch. Then front post around the double. We're gonna be skipping that front post there. So front post around the double. And because the one, two, that's the increase, going to skip. See, we worked into this one, so we're gonna be skipping this next single crochet. So skip a single crochet, double into the next, and then front post around the next double. So as I said, it is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of this round. I get my yarn situated. There we go. Okay, so into the, the first two single crochets. Double, double, and then front post around the double. Skip the next single, double in the next, and then front post around the double. So again, one, two, three, four, five. So it's double, double, front post, double, front post. Okay, double into the next two single crochet stitches, double, double, Front post around that double. Skip the next single, double into the next. And front post around the double. So we've got double, double front post, double, front post. Now you're probably wondering why am I doing like the entire round? Um, it's because even though these are relatively simple stitches, the placement really is important and I wanna make sure that you guys get it. So forgive me if I'm being redundant. I know that some of you like when I'm thorough, some of you are like probably rolling your eyes at me. It's okay. I would rather be thorough. So we did our series of five. Let's do another series of five. So into the next two single crochets, double and 
double, front post around the double, skip the next single, double into the next, and front post around the double. Double into the next two single crochet stitches, double, double, front post around the double, skip the next single, double into the next, front post around that next double, double into each of the next two double uh, singles, excuse me. So double, double, front post around the double, skip one, double into the next, and then front post. Okay, get rid of your tangles, pull out some more yarn if you need to. So again, double, double, front post, double, front post. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's continue. Alrighty, so moving right along, foot loose and fancy free, double into each of the next two singles. So let's double. Double, front post around the double. Skip a single, double into the next. And front post around the double. Double into each of the next two singles. Front post around the double. Skip a single, double into the next. And double, sorry, front post around the double. Very easy to get tongue tied. <laughs> Alrighty. And then double into each of the next two singles. Front post around the double. Skip one, double into the next. And front post around the double. Double into each of the next two singles. Front post around the double. Skip one, double into the next. And front post around the double. Double into the next two singles. One. And two. Front post around the double. Skip one, double into the next. And front post around the double. Double into the next two singles. Front post around the double. Skip one. Double into the next. And front post around that double. 
down below. And again, if we did this correctly, we should at this point have a total of 60 stitches. So let's count them. Let's make sure that we did this right. Okay, so again, omitting this first chaining up of two doesn't count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Yes! I love the sweet taste of success because you know what? People make mistakes. I am not exempt from that. All right. So then into the top of that first double crochet stitch, slip stitch to finish the round. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. All right. So that is the end of round eight. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So for round nine, it's going to be another one of those single crochet rounds where we chain up one and single crochet into each stitch all the way around. And at the, at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 60 single crochet stitches. And you're going to do the slip stitch join as we've done prior. So just do your single crochet stitches all the way around until you have 60 and then slip stitch join into that first single crochet stitch and that will be the end of round nine. Okay. Alrighty, my dears. So after finishing round nine, you should have a total of 60 single crochet stitches all the way around. And uh, well, unfortunately, due to time constraints, we're going to have to call it a wrap for this part of the tutorial. But hey, I would much, much, much rather be thorough and take my time with you guys to make sure that you really understand the placement of the stitches so that your hat comes out really nice and spiffy. Mm -hmm. Yep. So please do stay tuned for part two of this tutorial, the Alpine Stitch Hat. I really hope that you're enjoying yourselves at the moment because I certainly am. Love teaching you guys new things, especially when they're squishy. <laughs> so listen, if you are enjoying this, please do leave a little thumbs up button down below. You know I appreciate your appreciation. Also, uh, tell me what you think of this particular pattern. Let me know. And uh, of course, hit subscribe. Uh, you know, stay tuned for part two. And until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.